Hola Would you iglesia, ¿cómo están todos? Salmo 95, Salmo 95, salmo 95 usted me lo puede buscar ahí. Vamos And so let that be our prayer this morning. Que Dios sea nuestro alabanza que esta mañana, que este día. Podemos dar alabanza al pueblo de gloria. Jesús, we say we do this for you. Would you inhabit our praise this morning? Would you dwell with us as we sing praise to you, O Most High? We love you, Jesus. There's no one like you. There's no one like you. Sing this out with me. Sing, I choose this day. I choose this day to be grateful, Lord. I give you praise with an open heart. I'm waking up to heaven. I'm waking up to you. Let's sing that again. Sing, I choose this day. I choose this day to be grateful, Lord. I give you praise with an open heart. I'm waking up to heaven. I'm waking up to heaven. en verdad gracias estoy diciendo gracias y felicidad como un amanecer amor infinito alcanza más allá de los cielos despertando los cielos Tu fidelidad se levanta con un amanecer. Tu amor infinito alcanza a pasar más allá de los esta mañana te damos gracias cantamos con gozo a Jehová cantamos aclamémosle con júbilo a la roca de nuestra salvación acerquémonos ante su presencia con acción de gracias aclamémosle con salmos solo tú y solamente tú oh, despierto mi alma despierta mi alma es mi gozo agradecerte Señor gracias todo ti tú solamente estás despertando mi alma y ese es mi gozo agradecerte gracias Porque tú y solamente tú
gozo agradecerte Gracias Por llamarme amigo Muy Gracias Por siempre estar bueno conmigo Por tus misericordias nuevas Gracias Y en verdad, gracias. Por llamarme amigo, gracias. Por pararte en mi defensa, gracias. Su amor no quiere fin. Yo te digo gracias Tú te paras en mi defensa, gracias Tu amor no tiene fin Gracias. Well, we give you thanks for who you are. Te damos gracias, Señor. Todo lo que nos has dado, Señor, lo que nos da esta oración. Nos paramos en maravilla delante de ti Señor mil generaciones han, se han inclinado a adorarte para cantar el, el canto de los años al, al Cordero todos los que estuvieron antes de nosotros y los que vienen van a cantar el, el sonido de los tiempos tu nombre es lo más alto tu nombre es lo más grande tu nombre está por delante de todo todos los tronos y dominios, dominios los poder es que más allá tu nombre se está delante de todo y los ángeles cantan santo toda la delegación gime santo tu has sido levantado en alto Santo y para siempre. Si has sido perdonado, tú estás ahora redimido. Canta melodía para eterna al Cordero. Caminas en libertad. Lleva su nombre, canta esta melodía para siempre, por siempre al Cordero. Cantaremos esta melodía para siempre en amén. Los ángeles lloran, santo, claman. Creación clama, santo. Para siempre, santo para siempre. Escucha tu gente cantar, santo, rey de reyes, santo. Siempre serás santo. para siempre tu nombre es lo más alto tu nombre es lo más grande tu nombre es el más 
pasar adelante de todo lo demás todos los principados los tronos los poderes el nombre está por delante de todo Todo trono y principado, toda potencia y toda posición, todo título, su nombre está por delante de todo. Los ángeles claman santo. Toda la creación clama santo. Eres exaltado santo. Salto. Por siempre, santo por siempre. Canta a tu gente, canta, santo. Al rey de reyes, santo. Santo, Santo, Santo. Es el Cordero. Santo, Santo, Santo. Santo es el Cordero. So can can we just stay here for just a moment? Estemos This is the song momento. we're going to be singing <sighs> forever. <clears throat> But just bow your heads with me for one moment. Por un momento, oremos. In the same way that a person's words manera, reflect their character and their heart, your word is true, living, and eternal. De alguien, But your name is the highest. Es lo más alto. Just dwell on the names of God for a moment to create that wonder and awe Brian was talking about that we worship with because the Holy Spirit causes that to bubble up in our hearts because we focus on Him and the name represents the character. Alpha and Omega. You're the beginning and the end. King of kings, el Rey de Reyes, Lord of lords, el Señor de señores. Jehová, Jehová, Jehová Jaira, Jehová sana, Jehová Nisi, Prove sana, Jehová Rafa, my healer, must be sanador. Perfect loving Father. Perfecto amo, Padre amoroso. All sufficient Savior. Salvador suficiente. Powerful Holy Spirit. Espíritu Santo poderoso. Thank you for choosing us. Gracias por escogernos. Thank you for calling us your own. 
Te hace gracias por Letting us know you. Even in the ways that we do, we ask for more. We want to know you more. Open up our eyes. Open up our ears. Open up our minds. Open up our hearts. We want to know you, our living God. Come and Come and reveal yourself to us so that we can be more like you so we can receive the love that you long to give. We worship you, the one true living God. In Jesus' name. Amen. You may be seated. Thank you, Lord. Gracias, señor. Uh, my name is Brian. I'm one of the pastors here. Soy Brian. And uh, Soy unos pastores aquí. we uh, Pastor always de are, de are thankful to be in the presence of the Lord and his family. Amen? Estar yo aquí gozoso, estar la when you see people and, and, su familia, and, and you smile and they smile and you're happy to see them because you genuinely <laughs> are. Está feliz, Your face lights up with joy. Their face lights up with joy. And God goes, y se that's my heart for you. Rostros. And so if you haven't been told that, we're really, God's really happy you're here. <laughs> and he's going to be with us in all we do. De verte aquí. Uh, put, put the top five up there. These are just five ways to connect here at Crossbridge. You can um, see those, use the QR code to scan them, just some ways to, to continue to extend knowing God, enjoying and following him, engaging him. the word. Uh, training's coming very soon and next Sunday, and so it's new. It's going to be great. Pastor Matt's going to be doing a great job in that. You'll want to join him next Sunday. Prophetic conference every day. Prophetic Conference, there's a card in your seat. You can look there and get more also on the Para website. Ver but today, for right now, uh, you know we've been talking about Get the Zero and basically the heart of God Hoy to go to the nations with his love. Este and even now, there's a, cero, at Antioch Waco, de, as a, we're a part of the Antioch cero. movement of churches, there's a gathering called World Mandate that's a worship Al and missions 24. conference. And we sent lots of our young people there to see God. What are you es doing in the nations and how can we be a part? Today, I just want to share one of those stories que van a that we had from last summer. So I'm going to invite Lori Osuna and Sumner Osuna up. Give it up for criatura. Lori and Sumney. Come on up here. Hey, this is, hey, family, this is uh, a big deal. Lori's a, more of an introvert, and I asked Lori to share this story because he's right pedí a Lori in the heart que of God. Su historia. And Lori said, Ah, because that's our first response. But then she said, I'm going to ask Jesus. And Jesus said, you need to share. And so I'm excited with God for you Estoy to hear how God included us. A, que tú estés In the Dominican aquí. Republic last summer, we Ella joined the local la church to go out into the neighborhoods to love el, el people, to pray to share the hope of Jesus with people. La esperanza de Jesús con and las we gente. had uh, showed this picture. This is our, our friend varias fotos and now en sister Domin in Christ, la Maria. Dominicana. And when you hear this story, I want you to hear Quiero que cuando escuches la historia, como el amor profundo de Jesús, que quiere incluirnos en las cosas que le está haciendo. Lori, Laura, comparte. Una de las cosas importantes de ir a un viaje misionero es que no sabe qué es lo que vas a encontrar. O con quién vas a participar. Super exciting to see how God just perfectly puts the me emociona teams ver cómo Dios nos hace partícipes de lo que él hace. So that day, we were walking. We barely got Estábamos in the neighborhood. Llegando, and, uh, this y estábamos sweet caminando. Elderly lady was in her uh, front ahí, yard, más, and más Mado, mayor, Ricardo, who was our translator, had already developed a relationship with her. And so he just kind of in passing said, "Hi, Maria. This is." You know, introduced us and our team. Yes, and se, se I think in his equipo. mind, he thought we were probably just going to keep on going. But God had different plans. And so Brian just said, hey, Estaba can we pray for her? So we uh, walked up on her front porch and 
just kind of began talking with her and just kind of hearing, con ella, um, escuchándole how we could how we could minister or pray to her and, and she basically just said for my health she's very vague y um, lo único que podría pedir off, es que orara por uh, mi salud think, um, this is kind of where Sumner came in and just his sweet heart to um, love on people and she y lo que queríamos uh, era compartir kind of el amor de Jesús that community and so as were there y ella señora her, era como una la abuelita de la familia de la comunidad you could just tell that that was sort of her role in the community and so Sumner after she had said some of the things that we could be praying for her health wise después de compartir lo que ella deseaba que oráramos and so uh, his prayer muchachillo decidió de preguntarle que quieres que ore por ti I prayed uh, this one scripture that said John 3:16 for God so loved the world I gave his one sobre ella lo que dice la Biblia acerca de Juan 3:16 Dios amó tanto al mundo que envió su único hijo and then he just what did you do right after you prayed ¿Qué fue que hiciste después de eso Yeah, you gave her. He just went running up to her and just gave her a big hug, and you could just see her orar? spirit pues just slowly starting to open le dio un up. And just the genuineness that we had as a es team together to know her really some more her story. And so, uh, Ricardo just started asking her some questions about herself and her life and her story, and so she just slowly began to share. And he y las cosas como había vivido, y estaba traduciendo ida y vuelta. She was I think 82, 84. And so she'd been through a lot and uh, it kind of got ella to a place that he stopped difíciles. sharing some of the details. He just finally said, there's just so much pain and trauma in her life. Y este and so mucho, tanto we dolor y tanto um, just, que you know, su vida, as, que as we're going through kind of praying for her during that time, and Brian was just kind of sitting back a little bit and really just kind of taking in the conversation. And, and um, a lot of what she was saying too was about para... just the things that, este, that she had done in her community works-wise and he kind of began to figure escuchar. out that she was really basing her her hopefulness of going to heaven on her works and not really on what Jesus was. And so, so um, him kind of gathering that up cielos, was, cosas iba a was es, really great for us as a team to see his leadership in that. And so he actually just straight up asked her, like, do you think you're going to heaven? And she said, I hope so, but I'm not sure if I've done enough, if I'm good no enough. Segura, and so si he, he um, um, had um, Ricardo go to Scripture, Ephesians 2, 8 and 9. I don't know if you remember that, but I actually looked, looked it up and I had saved that bookmark in Spanish, so I knew that was that was the Scripture. And so um, he read allí. that over her, and you yo, could just see trajero, uh, just que sea la her, que el Señor her demeanor dado. change when it's not by works we're saved, but but by by Jesus um, dying for our sins. And so she just really started to open up. And que so no es acerca such, de las cosas que uno hace, sino que acerca del corazón que uno tiene por Jesús. Y luego yo como Dios uso siempre a uno o otro del equipo de una forma u otra. Dios siempre God tiene algo. Right Así como Dios, Jesús usó a este, really like, este muchachito um, aquí. That that wouldn't have broken down those walls in her heart, and so I love seeing how um, he, he used de ella. just the, the perfect, perfect people for that moment. And, um, I, like Brian said, I'm an introvert. I don't, I don't love um, just talking in front of people, but at the same time, hacer. I know that the Lord's going to use me and what I have to offer. Y and I got to see that the Lord's going to use me and what I have to offer. And I got to see um, Dios puede hacer en cada uno just in myself some things broken down. Mí, um, Maria reminded me a lot of my, my own grandmother and some of the things that I wish I would have got to say to her about, about works and that that's um, y continuamos platicando acerca de eso, que no es acerca de lo que uno hace y que no se trata de eso, sino de la relación que podemos tener con Jesús. Yo sentí algo dulce por ella y como yo no podía sentir, yo les animo. Um, for you, and but you have some of those, que ustedes those tengan también ese espíritu God, like, que Dios les ponga el deseo tal vez de participar can. en uno de estos viajes Thank you. Give it up for Lori. Stay here. gracias Stay here. Uh, que, quédate uh, un momento aquí por favor 
I was, mar- I was marked with the same thing. I, I was standing back because I was in awe of like, Yo Ricardo maravilla, had the relationship that opened the door. We sat on the porch. Maria shared abierta, heartache after heartache, puerta. losing children. I mean, hard stuff. Tenía, Sunners, the compassion that Sammy just said, I want to pray for you. I, can I hug you? Y él me dio la compasión, por ejemplo, de este chiquillo, de, de querer orar por ella. I looked over and Lori was crying, crying. Y Lori estaba llorando un poco y yo sentí la compasión de Jesús para ministrarle, como ayudarle, cómo podemos hacer para, para darte una unción, una bendición. Es lo que él sentía por esta señora. Y como la bendición de Jesús salía y salía. There was not de one part no of that story that hijo, pero de was todos, the hero except Jesus. Que Dios había Jesús Jesus is the hero. Por esta familia, por And esta gente. I was so marked by yo tan the fact that we're going to see Maria in heaven. And she's had a hard y life. Vamos a ver, vamos a tener que vamos But a ver joy is coming. En los cielos. Hope is hers now. And can we put that picture back up one more time? Please, poner la foto that, ahí? I don't know if you can see it, but look at Maria's face. No, no sé si lo puedes ver, apreciar, pero mira la cara de María. That's a, that's a smile. Esa sonrisa. I can't count it a smile. ¿Qué clase? That, I wasn't there before. Que no estaba uh, antes ahí. Ahora so, ya podía sonreír. Sammy, can, could you pray for us and Maria to know God's love like we do? Dear God, I pray over um, all the children in the Dominican Republic. I pray that también. they would have health and that they would believe in you more. I pray that you would um, keep them safe and that you would, whatever the struggles that they're going through, that you would help them. I pray over um, our community that we could um, go over uh, to the Dominican Republic and all the missions that we would go and share the gospel so that everyone can believe in you and trust in you. Jesús, Amen. Amen. Espíritu Santo. Muy bien. Gracias. So I got the honor of being with uh, their whole family uh, on a mission. And the bond that you form on a mission is something special, and God says, "Yeah, that's algo especial siempre." We're doing it together. Es and, and I know we've been juntos. trying to join Jesus and following Jesus. Es don't forget that word Jesús. in the middle there is the hinge. Together. There's, a, there's something powerful about the together. And so I don't know what you're feeling in your heart as we talk about get to zero. And it's like, well, that's for the people that have time, have money, have whatever. Or if you felt disqualified or if you felt, I'm not this and I don't know that. Can we just not partner with the lies of the enemy in that way? And agree with the truth that if God wants to speak, to include you, Pero nosotros nos ponemos de acuerdo que be, Dios Jesús quiere hablar, to listen quiere hablar a través de ti. Because I've seen it time and time again. Whatever the thoughts in my head that was the block from keeping me from going, Cualquier goes, oh, cosa that's que te esté estorbando ahí oh, en yeah, tu mente gotcha. que el Señor para qué voy a ir. Yo no like necesito ir a llorar de esto. A, a Pero el Espíritu Santo siempre I, llegaba. Y tal vez te pueda poner Jesús un equipo fuerte. Y tú no te sientes muy fuerte. Tal vez débil. Que no tienes mucha, mucha experiencia. O no so tienes experiencia is, en ninguno de estos viajes. Like say, Cuando estamos If juntos, el Espíritu de Dios you, siempre te va a dar la fuerza. Listen, fuerza espiritual. Lo único que tenemos que hacer And I think we got a couple sí. more weeks in this get to zero for whatever that nation, that, that outreach might be for you. El que tú But I guarantee sentir, you, informarte. Van a pasar this was just one más story. Para más <laughs> There are so many stories. Hay But you'll, you'll be included in it. In este And you'll be in all of the stories. And you'll come home eager to see people the same way you see them on the mission field. Y tú te vas a dar cuenta de lo poderoso que es estar influenciados por el Espíritu Santo. We're going to go back into worship and invite our prayer team to come Voy a pedir forward. Voy equipo de oración que venga al frente. We'll also ask our healing prayer team to come forward right over here in this corner. El If you de have sanidad, a physical favor, need for healing, tal vez necesitas tú un toque. We want to pray for you. Un toque que queremos orar por ti. We, I, I, I don't understand why God would choose to heal one, not heal another. I don't know that, but I do know. 
I do know my God's heart. Tal vez unos, unos and it is to meet you with love and compassion and power otros, no, to save and mi, heal. Mi, mi punto, el punto so we can pool our faith oramos, in the room that there's somebody here that maybe has lost faith. Tal vez tú has perdido tu fe. Somebody here Tal vez has aquí. felt they're either too far away or I'm not there. I, Tal vez estás un poquito alejado. Mustard seed of faith. Una semilla just, de mostaza. Just come and be prayed right over here. And watch God do what he loves to do. Love with power. Como una, como una de una de Jesus, mostaza. we agree with all you want to do. We, we lift you high. We say you're the worthy one. You're the holy one. You're the living one. We worship you, God. In Jesus' name. Amen. Venga, venga ahí, tenga fe. En la esquina va a estar el equipo que para orar por, por sanidad. Y acá cualquier equipo, otra persona que necesite oración de otro tipo, de cualquier situación, puede ser de acuerdo contigo o oh, para agradecer a lo que el Señor haya hecho últimamente. Yo he caminado a través del valle. Tú eres por mí. Tú tienes buenos planes. Yo conozco a mi padre. Yo conozco a mi padre. El Señor es mi Salvador. Que voy a hacer preguntas. En el lugar hay tu callado. Están conmigo. Calma las aguas. Calma la tormenta dentro de mí. ¿Qué puede ser mejor que caminar contigo cuando yo creo? Tienes buenos planes. Tiene buenos planes para mí. Animarme, desiertos, praderas, tiene buenos planes, tiene buenos planes para mí. Para 
mi padre. Conozco a mi padre. Tiene buenos planes para mí. Tomaré ánimo. Siempre. Aunque no te vea cómo trabajes. Aunque no te vea, tú nunca paras de trabajar. Nunca paras de estar de haciendo. Aún cuando no te vea yo lo que estás haciendo y que uno lo sienta, tú nunca paras. Tú nunca te para, te tienes de estar haciendo. Aún cuando yo no vea que lo que estás haciendo, tú nunca te paras, tú nunca te detienes de hacer cosas. Aunque yo no vea lo que tú estás trabajando, aunque no veo, no siento lo que estás trabajando. Que no lo vea, aunque no lo sienta, tú siempre estás ahí, tú nunca paras. de promesas, luz en la oscuridad Dios, eso es lo que tú eres es el que hace el camino es el trabajador milagroso Dios, eso es lo que tú eres en la oscuridad Dios es lo que tú eres que hace el camino que hace milagros eso es lo que tú eres cumplidor de promesas es lo que tú eres una vez, una vez más hagámoslo nuestra dejámonos nuestro como una confesión declarémoslo él es el que hace el camino, es el cumplidor de promesas, es lo que mi Dios es. Yes, Lord, we thank you. Te damos gracias, Señor. We just have gratitude in our hearts that you're always moving, always working. Oh, es la gratitud Even en los corazones, sabiendo que room. siempre estás moviendo, siempre estás haciendo. To our hearts. Aún aquí en este momento, en este lugar. Caring for even our physical bodies. Teniendo cuidado de nuestros cuerpos físicos. We just thank you that you're También. on the move. We love you. Keep us in step with you, we pray. 
Manténnos ahí contigo, Amen. Señor, en el nombre de Jesús. Lo Amen. You can be seated. Te me siento, por favor. Good morning, everyone. My name is Matt Erba, one of the pastors Soy here. Erba, pastor de formación so espiritual. good to be with you this morning as we continue our Enjoy and Follow series. And if you've been with us the past couple of weeks, uh, and what we'll continue on uh, this week is we've really had our focus in on, on the Word of God. We want to start the year focusing on that because my desire, my prayer is that for myself that I would be a, a person of the Word. Pero estar más and that's con el our Señor. desire for our church, for the church, is that we would be people of His Word. Sea de gente so, de palabra, if you de, missed some of the service, verdad, uh, su, sermons that we did the past couple weeks, I highly recommend going back and, and listening to them. And today what we're going to be doing is we're really going to be zeroing in on some of the Vamos core beliefs un, 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 that we hold en los, en los, about this book. But before we get into the book and start to look at the book, I just want to Take Antes a moment here at the beginning to talk a little bit about the God that is mentioned in this book. Hablando de lo que Dios es As I'm este, going through este some of this, it's going to be really este familiar to you, but don't let the, the familiarity of these Tú facts about God diminish the awe that we have, that we should have tienen, in these truths. Pero no dejes que eso sea algo we know simple, that for all eternity, God exists in por toda la eternidad Dios Trinity, ha existido the Father, the como una trinidad, padres, hijo y Espíritu Santo. Y cosa extraña pasó dos mil años atrás. Trinity, Eso, esa a trinidad man. es el hijo del hombre, se volvió Born hombre, a virgin, nació a de una place, virgen en un lugar pobre, God en un pesebre. I sometimes think about him just in this sort of protective bubble, like he lived this sort of charmed life. That's que not what the Bible actually tells us. It says in Hebrews that when Jesus was growing up, he was tempted in all things, dice, just as we are, Jesús fue en yet todo. without sin. Así como los otros I mean, lo somos, Jesus pero sí, pero no pecó. A, a more full brunt of temptation than I have because it says that Él right before his ministry started, Satan himself que came tenemos. and tempted Jesus. I've never experienced that. And yet he still was without sin. Y aún así, and isn't it interesting that every temptation no that came his way, Jesus responded back, it is written. He used y cualquier tentación que venía él, él respondía, está escrito. And then right after that temptation, Jesus goes into a synagogue, and this is right, where he starts his public ministry. And he, he, he grabs the word of God, he grabs the scroll from Isaiah, and he el, uses el it to explain why he is here. He gives sort of his Isaías. purpose for coming, for becoming a man. He said it was to proclaim good news to the poor. He said it was to proclaim good news to the poor. He said, you want to know why I'm here? I'm here to proclaim freedom for prisoners. To recover the sight of the blind, to set the oppressed free, to proclaim the years of the Lord's favor. I love later on in his ministry, he seeks out and finds this man lost in sin named Zacchaeus. And when people question why he would go after a man like that, he gives his purpose again, this time so bluntly, the Son of Man came to seek and to save the lost. And yet, we saw last week when, and during Christmas' sermon that pasada, even though Jesus was here seeking and going after the prisoner and going after the people who needed healing, él, that sometimes people would la seek him out. I love the statement sanidad, that Chris brought our attention to. He would always say when they would seek him out, what do you want me to do for you? Y en muchos casos cuando recibía la pregunta es, él, él preguntaba, ¿qué quieres que yo haga por ti? Él siempre está amoroso. Como servirle, como, como amarle, todo el camino hacia la cruz. Y él escogió sufrir todo eso por, por nosotros. Even better than serving, I mean, he, he will call us his children. Más que ser, the reason I'm bringing all this up this morning is, is, is we could never, ever imagine a God like this. No podemos imaginar nunca un Dios así. 
get like a million of the greatest storytellers and lock them in a room for a million years and at the end of that it would never have occurred to them to imagine a god as awesome as the one that actually que las en una caja o un lugar, which brings us back to this no book there's an important de Dios. passage if you want to know what to believe about the bible si one of the que lo que key passages creer, i would refer you lo, to is la Biblia, uh, second peter ser, chapter 1 lo que puedas creer acerca de Peter la Biblia en segunda de Pedro. En la porción de la Escritura, starting en verso 16, dice esto. En el verso 16, dice, sigamos en segunda stories. Pedro 1, 16. We're not following the imagination of some creative estamos siguiendo person. ninguna imaginación creada para un hombre, para alguien. Hemos dado a conocer el poder y la venida de nuestro Señor Jesucristo, no siguiendo fábulas artificiosas, sino porque fuimos testigos he, he oculares de su majestad. He tiene que ser revelado no puede ser imaginado exactly what Jesus is. He is the perfect revelation Él es of God Jesús es la perfecta God. revelación de Dios And right away I, I read that and I'm like, well, that's great for you, Peter. You happen to live in the right place at the right time to see with eso, your own pensé, eyes the revelation eso está bien of the Lord ti, Pedro, in the man Jesus Christ. But what about all of us who don't live in that time or in that place? No Peter knows that, and so he continues in verse 19, and he says this. So I have my eye witness, but I also have the prophetic message. But I have my eye witness, but I also have the prophetic message of Scripture que aún es más, más firme, reliable, algo que es verdadero, que puedes creer en eso. Ponga atención. See, all that I mentioned about that story of Jesus, I didn't know that because I saw it happen. Oscuro. I know those things because I have the completely reliable revelation of Scripture sitting right here. All that to say is this is, es this is no Scripture. Mere book, church. No es nada más un libro común. In fact, it's not just a book. It's it's amazing. It's 66 works es, es of, of es literature combined into one book. It's like its own libros, library, right? There's everything from long junto. histories to short letters to epic poems. It's not all. Yeah, as cool as that is, that's not the thing that makes this so unique. Es lo que todo what makes this so unique is what que, Peter mentions in the very next verse. En el próximo verso Pedro lo deja saber. Que es lo maravilloso de esto, según Pedro. Una veinte veintiuno. Y hay que tener muy en cuenta, antes que nada, que ninguna profecía de la escritura es de interpretación privada. Porque jamás fue traído la profecía por voluntad humana. Los hombres hablaron de parte de Dios. Siendo inspirados por el Espíritu Santo. So let's, let's break that, 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 those verses down for a second. Above Deja all. Right, Peter is saying todo, that since you're todo, not an eyewitness like me, entender. above all, the place that you really need to start from no is an understanding of what this Pedro, book actually Pedro, is. Pero, and the thing that you need to understand, the essential point que el punto central de esto que, que tú tienes que empezar es que estas no son palabras del Señor, no de hombre. Hay un conocimiento esencial en todo esto para la iglesia que se llama, que se puede coronar con lo de doctrina. Y lo primero que queremos saber es qué es lo que creemos nosotros como iglesia. Y vamos a ver por lo que le llamamos la doctrina de inspiración. Creemos que la Escritura es la palabra y revelación de Dios que ha sido respirada por el Espíritu Santo. Pause here for a moment because when you hear words like doctrine and you get sort of a somewhat academic statement like that, that can dice, for some of us be a very life-giving thing and for inspirada. others of us that can be sort of a life-draining thing. Se ha a través de la gente, I, I heard this quote this week as I was cargada, studying in preparation for this sermon Santo, and I just loved it. It's, a, por el it's from Santo. A, a pastor who said the doctrine of Scripture is rooted in a triune God who wants to be known. Y como dijo alguien, the doctrine of Scripture is rooted in a triune God who wants to be known. Just let that sink in for a moment, right? Because we can affirm the truth that of the doctrine of inspiration. That when you get the why behind it, it suddenly it has more energy esto. to me. ¿Cuál es, por qué es why is it important that we know these, these words are inspired esto, by esto, the Lord or the very words of God? Because it's, the why is God is saying, I want you to know me. 
Y, lo que, y cuál es el porqué? Es lo que está diciendo Dios. Quiero que me conozcas. No te estoy, escond no me estoy escondiendo. Quiero que tú conozcas, me conozcas. Es la verdad real. Y si tú te pones a pensar en eso. Dios quiere que lo conozcamos. Es como que pusiera un fuego en nuestros corazones. Pero este libro no solo está parando ahí sobre revelar cosas sobre quién Dios es. También es una gran fuente de revelar about who people are. And not only that, about the relationship that we no may or may Dios, not have together. that there is a problem in this relationship between the God that's revealed who is holy and the people who are revealed who are revealed as being unholy. That there's enmity en in the relationship. We're born actually enemies of the Lord. And it further reveals that there are some pretty significant consequences. Like we're in a season right now where we start off in broken relationship, but it's the time of healing that relationship. Con relaciones rotas. And if it's not mended, que no ha sido remediado, the word of God further reveals that there could be eternal separation from the Lord. But the good news is, is that Las buenas nuevas son, you know that the, the warnings of that story about this broken relationship, there's further revelation. Que la historia Even more is revealed. The gospel message de la about how Dios. restoration happens. And once again, this is something that we could have never come up with. We would have never had the idea that God would become man y that nunca pudimos haber tenido imaginado siquiera Dios podía convertirse en hombre de manera que nosotros ni lo merecíamos y eso es exactamente lo que se revela que se revela de la Escritura si quieres saber cómo mantener la Escritura y qué creer sobre ella tenemos ese pasaje en 2 Peter pero también quiero llevarlo a 2 Timothy capítulo 3 esta vez quiero llevarlo a la segunda de Timoteo es uno de los clave pasajes de la Escritura que habla sobre la Escritura So just by context, Paul is, is writing a letter to his friend Timothy, and he says to him, But as for you, Timothy, continue in what you have learned and have become convinced of, because you know those from whom you have learned it. And just right there, he's about to get into Scripture, but he also is emphasizing the importance of community. You know the things you've learned. You know us who you've learned it from, Timothy. Hold on to those things and do this as well. And how from infancy that you have known the Holy Scriptures. This is our, our big point right here, which are able to make you wise for salvation through faith in Jesus Christ. You see, the scriptures reveal all sorts of things about us and God, but they also reveal our need and the way of salvation. Y es la necesidad que tenemos nosotros de salvación. Nosotros no tenemos que preocuparnos que solo nos da un pedacito de algo. Nos da el conocimiento completo. Todo ha sido inspirado por el Espíritu Santo y en la Escritura está todo lo que necesitas. Continúa y continuamos ahí. So he's once again affirming Toda inspiration es inspirada por Dios. there. And it's not only useful for salvation, it's useful es for teaching. Para it's useful para la for rebuking, for correcting, and training, and righteousness. So that the servant of God may be thoroughly, I would say, completely equipped for every good work. But doesn't this reveal about how to restore that relationship? 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 Scriptures reveal all these things to us. This brings us to another important doctrine. We'll put it up on the screen. It's the doctrine of what's sometimes called the doctrine of sufficiency. All that's to say is we have everything we need. The Bible contains everything we need for God to tell us for salvation and godliness. We don't have to look in any other source. In fact, if someone is claiming there's another source to go to get that information, I would be highly suspect of Ahí that. Está. Todo en la the está. Bible has lo what we need. Todo lo que now, I can almost anticipate a, wait a minute, Crossbridge. If the Bible is sufficient and all I need is the Bible, si I hear so, you guys si coming in, in your seats right now as a card about a, a prophetic conference. And you guys talk about listening to the Lord, and you talk about listening to the Lord for loving others. Esas If the Bible is sufficient, profecía, then why do we need something else? Si that mean it's not sufficient? Porque necesitamos algo más, como I think, esa yes, the Bible is sufficient, and in the Bible, Señor, it's where we read Señor. things like, don't despise prophecy. 
It's where we read things like, in fact, earnestly desire the spiritual gifts, especially that you would prophesy. Es lo que nos el Santo, It's where we el read deseo. in John 10 that my sheep can hear my voice. Why do we do listening to the Lord? It's because we believe Juan, that scripture. Mi bo, mi There's James 1.5 that says, says any of you lacks voz. wisdom, you should ask God who gives generously si to all without finding fault, and it will be given pide, to you. See, listening to the Lord and listening to the Lord for loving others in a prophetic conference, we do those things not because it's contradictory to no the sufficiency of Scripture, but it's submitting to the sufficiency of Scripture. If I really believe this word is sufficient and it tells me to do these things, I ought to do them. La right? dice que Why do I need community? Because right? in the very scripture we just read about the importance of scripture and how it's sufficient for all our needs, he's like, that's the and after, hey, remember community, remember the things you learned from me. Más. Again, that's not contradicting the sufficiency of Scripture. It's fully embracing it. The question is, are we submitting to what is in the sufficient Scripture? Nos estamos sometiendo a lo que significa eso es ser suficiente. No es de eliminar las otras cosas. Again, you can go to our engaging the word class and, and learn more about maybe the clarity of scripture or the inerrancy in scripture. But one I think is especially important for us in this hour, in our culture, en este momento, en esta cultura, es importante para nosotros. También es más importante el punto número tres, que es la doctrina de autoridad. Que toda palabra de escritura que son palabras de Dios en tal manera que el que no cree o des desobedece la palabra de escritura está no creyente y desobedeciendo a Dios. And humility. Now, I know word like authority and submission can uh, trigger us a little bit. No solamente autoridad y suficiencia. Whenever I think of the authority of the Lord, pues it's so vital for me to connect to all that stuff at the beginning of the sermon. I want to remember the character of the I was talking with my, my girls just the other day, and, and they had a question like, hey, I feel like I want to do this for a living when I grow up. You know, we were having the, what do you want to be when you grow up conversation. And one of them asked with almost a little bit of worry, like, well, what if God wants me to do something different? Y si Dios quiere que sea algo diferente, and I could just tell her with complete honesty, that's hard sometimes. Yo puedo decirle con gran honestidad, puede ser difícil. That when I do submit, even though I don't want to, that it's always the right move. Pero cuando yo and me someto y obedezco, him, done, y Dios me deja saber algo, thought, yo no, sé que eso path. es el movimiento correcto, a pesar de que yo tal vez deseara and otra can, cosa. There's so little, and I'm like, they, I know some of this will come through experience. A menos que venga esto a tener una experiencia like, oh, propia. De ver que es todo lo que Dios tiene como su persona, su personaje. Por supuesto que Él tiene el mejor interés para nosotros. Lo mejor desea lo mejor like para that. todos nosotros. No necesariamente so lo que nosotros summer, escogemos. This book, God's very word. Este es la palabra de, Everything de Dios. that we need for godly living, for para salvation, vivir, para salvación, it's aquí está y todo. Aquí está todo en la Biblia. And we need to submit to it as our authority. Necesitamos someternos a esa autoridad, la autoridad de Dios. However, here's maybe the tricky part. Ahora viene la parte difícil. You can affirm. All those things we just talked about, all those doctrines, you can be in yes, yes, and amen. That's truth. I believe. Puedes decir it. todo eso y puedes yet, decir tú sí, amén. Yo creo en todo eso. Sits closed on your nightstand. Y lo mantengo ahí cercano. Lo firmamos, lo confiamos, creemos, creemos todo lo que está en la Biblia. Follow and still don't crack it open. Y puedes creer. Brings us back. We'll circle back to one of those. Verses we read at the beginning that, that Peter gave us. I think he knows that this is the real danger for the church. Este es el so que just to remind Pedro you what he said in verse 19. Remember, he said we also 19. have the prophetic message to something And you will bien do estar well a ella, como una to pay attention to it. See, I think he knows that we can affirm the truths of it and Podemos not actually creer, pay attention decir, to it sometimes. No poner atención a lo Why que está should we pay attention to it? Because it is light. 
porque es como una luz que brilla, que alumbra un lugar oscuro. Now, I was mentioning my daughters last year, we went through a, a little season of watching pasada. these shows together that were all like survival shows, right? Like you take somebody, you drop them off in this, this horrible situation, show, they just leave them alone and they have to survive. We really got into that first You know, I was wondering, hey, are they going to start building a shelter? Are they going to start looking for food? Or, you know, what's the first thing that they're going to do? And all those things were, you know, some people would go for, you know, I'm going to start fishing and get food, and then I can start building my shelter. Or maybe they would say, no, I'm going to build a shelter while I've got strength right now, and then I'll be able to go after food. And no matter what they would do first, actually, the very first thing they would always do is to go after water. Y lo primero que este programa era todo lo que estaba participando y lo primero que hacía era buscar agua. And he's right by the ocean, lots of water there, but it's that's not water you can drink. Y como estaban cerca del mar ahí, esa no es un agua que tú puedas tomar. Pool of water that had come down from the mountains. It was fresh water, but una como una caída de agua que bajaba en la montaña. You could barely tell it was water. It was just brown and brackish, and there was stuff floating in it. Yeah, he was excited that he found water. Aunque traía cosas ahí encima de la que encontró cosas en el agua, pero estaba contento de haber encontrado en He's like, this ahí, is Spangled Moss, which is known for its filtering properties. And he goes, I'll show you. And he takes a big bottle full of this dirty bog water sucia, así, and just pours it onto the rock and then right into his mouth. Y la pone, and my una, daughters looked at me and they're like, is that for real? Y este, había and escogido I was like, una, que era como una roca que tenía propiedades para filtrar el agua. Y la ponía así, echaba agua sucia esa y la pasaba por la roca y después a su boca y estaba ya filtrada. Y mis hijas preguntaban, ¿es eso libre? ¿Es eso verdad? Y sí, yo también dudé, pero lo busqué ahí en la internet y sí, sí es cierto. Ese tipo de roca sirve para eso. So much like we need to consume. Es donde como Dios nos ha creado que necesitamos consumir agua, comida, information, información. Like constantly Nosotros absorbing. estamos constantemente absorbiendo. Like the Lord has made us to be like that. Es como que el Señor nos hizo de esta manera, de estar buscando, investigando, queriendo conocer, saber and más. Soak up what's around us. Y que se tiene que absorber todo lo que and, está alrededor de nosotros. Like Peter just said, it's just dark around us. Y como dice ahí, es oscuro alrededor de nosotros. And we soak that up. Sometimes not even the intentionally, just being in that area. Tal vez no es intencional, like pero tal vez estamos en esa área y estamos ahí y somos absorbidos por esto. And our thought would be like, just get us out of here. Y yo decía. I'm reminded of the prayer de este, de that right before he leaves, Jesus prayed over his disciples, and he says those de, will come to leave because of their testimony. That's us. He says, it's my prayer is not le digo, that you would take them no out of the world. Don't take them out of the dark place. Don't take them out of the dark place. But that you would protect them from the evil one. But that you would protect them from the evil one. But that you would protect them from the evil one. But that you would protect them from the evil one. But that you would protect them Even as I am not of it, they may be in the world, but they are not of the world. Aunque estén en no son del mundo. And how can we, if we're sponges, be in a dark world, but not soak up and be just as dirty and dark as the world we're soaking up around us? Así como nosotros podemos absorber lo oscuro que está alrededor de nosotros y lo sucio. Sanctify them. Santifica los de su señor en su oración diecisiete diecisiete. Santifica los por la verdad. Tu palabra es verdad. Like I said, that that moss thing really works, but the ratio was off. Ese tipo de roca o musgo. Maybe if he had like one of those clear streams that just come like pure snow water, maybe that moss would have been enough. But in his situation, he needed a different ratio. And church, I believe that in the the dark area that we live, we need to reassess. Our ratios a little bit. Tenemos que verificar. 
I'm just thinking about this year, church, and it being an election year, and the amount of voices that are going to be screaming, and a lot of the issues we're going to have to deal with, and how do we judge what's right, and what's wrong, and what's truth, and what's not, and the Lord says, it's the word, but we have it like that little stone, we just we dip it in and hope that it's touching it for a second matters, and I believe in my heart, the Lord's telling me, Matt, this is a time for consecration. You need in advance to start soaking up more of the word. I can't just pick it up for a few minutes and hope, man, I hope that that touches. And so the rest of the day, when I consume all the darkness around me, when I soak it up like a sponge, that that, that rocks is like a little magical thing that will make it all okay somehow. I don't think it works that way. In the book of Exodus, the Lord's about to meet his people for the first time. He's about to descend on Mount Sinai. But beforehand, he comes days ahead and says, before I come, que está Tell listo para encontrarse con su gente por primera vez. Antes de que eso suceda, Dios le dijo a Moisés, tiene que lavarse, bañarse, arreglarse para poder pedir a mi presencia. This is a time for us to begin to dig into the word because we are going to need it. It is the plumb line which I can judge my culture by, I can judge the voices that are talking to me by, I can judge my own heart. But when we listen to all the other voices more, it begins to flip. Have you noticed that in the church? Where they're like, hey, culture says this, so I'm going to judge God if he disagrees with it. Culture says this, and I'm going to use that as my ruler to see if the Bible is really la palabra de Dios que es lo que dice la Biblia that is the haughty spirit of pride that says I dare to judge the living word of God and so maybe where we're at this morning is just the need to come under submission Lord I repent for all the places that I dare to judge you Lord my crooked ruler because I've soaked up so much of this world I've used it to actually judge you Lord would you flip it back in me right now deben ser reputadas, echadas para afuera, rechazadas. Y cuando leo este texto, me empiezo a sentir cómodo. Es decir, por ejemplo, de sentirse cómodo por lo que dice ahí, pero te dice el Señor, no, el que está fuera del lugar eres tú. Pero tú eres el Dios de la cruz. Pero tú eres el Dios de la cruz. Yo confío en ti. Tú me vas a dar la palabra verdadera. So me vas a guiar, now, and Lord, me vas a guiar correctamente. ¿Qué es lo que significa consagración para ti en este in año? Season, en esta temporada. Tal vez podemos cerrar los ojos y pensar en eso, meditar en eso. ¿Qué significa consagrarme en estos momentos, en estos tiempos? So James, en este Lord, momento, como dice Santiago, What si falta voices, sabiduría, fine, pídela, neutral, porque Dios te da suficiente, es generoso. Of, so que vos has estoy escuchando yo, que no me permiten ver claramente lo que sucede en este mundo, en este tiempo en nosotros aquí. Que vos has, vos has necesito dejar de escuchar. Y cuál es la voz verdadera que voy a escuchar. Lord, we believe that there's two paths. We can be a people of the world or a people of the palabra, world. O people del mundo. Podemos ser so gente cualquiera de los dos. Last thing here, we're going to give you a little time Pero to just ask, no Lord, what does it look lugares? like for que, me en que se que to be yo, in the word que yo more sea this year? Que la palabra de Dios. ¿Qué significa eso para mí? He's given us time. We don't want to be more drastic or less drastic than he is commanding us. So just let's wait on the Lord. Hay que esperar en el Señor, no seamos urgentes. O, o con rapidez, buscar exactamente qué es lo que el Señor nos quiere dar y en su tiempo nos lo va a dar. Pero necesitamos pedirle, preguntarle, escucharle y someternos.
Yes, Lord, if the doctrine of your scripture yes, is señor, for us to simply know you, then wouldn't our desire be matched to spend time in your word because we want to know our God. Exactamente lo que dice la Biblia, la and so, Lord, tuya, in our flesh, in our weakness, carne, in, in places where we do not desire eh, what is good and true, what is no closeness with you, what is knowing your wants and your desires, your character, your plans, tus planes, Lord, we ask that you would do it for us. Por nosotros, that we come guíes, low and weak and say, Lord, strengthen in us Señor, a desire for your word. Strengthen in us a desire for Fortalece your scripture nosotros, to Señor, know who you are or that it would be our one desire. De eres, and so just one more time this morning, una vez más esta don't mañana, let este those día, moments este momento, go by where we just get to ask God no to do something for us that he, he so longs to do. He knows we're weak. He knows our humanity and he says, I will nosotros. place that desire in your heart. Y que pongas ese deseo que tú and so just Dios in your own words nosotros. for a quick moment just saying Lord would you increase my desire for you Señor, mi deseo por ti. which a fruit of that is a desire for your word So yes, Lord, change our taste, change our thoughts, Cambiere change our habits that we may corazón, know you above que, que everything else. We may desire you above everything else. Nada más. We say all these things, trusting you to do it like Todas only you can do. Ti, In Jesus' name, hacer, we love you, Lord. Amen. Jesus. Awesome. Thank you for being with us this morning. Gracias My name is Morgan Gallion. I'm Morgan. the high school pastor here. And I just have a couple of quick things I want you guys to know about before you head out today. And the first is that we're having an Engaging the Word seminar on February 11th during en first service. 11, and really we're, what we're doing during this is just giving you a few more tools in your tool palabra. belt to be able to engage God's Word, to en desire His Scripture, know what God says about His Word. So that it, it would be an palabra. awesome place for you to plug in to dive Yo deeper, so mark that on your calendar. And also, I'm a little biased, but we have high school weekend coming up, and we are so, so excited Tenemos for your ninth and 12th graders secundaria. to come with us to Buda in Twin Oaks and experience all God has for us as we just separate. <coughs> We're not using our phones the whole weekend, which is crazy, so but our teenagers, no they love it. Telefonos. It's going to be an awesome time. Um, February 9th perfecto. through the 11th, you can sign up your high schooler at ablazeevents.com. And we're still looking for a couple more for our, meals, our meal team and we also have some students that need scholarships so if you would like to step into that in any way you can email student at crossbridgecc.com and last but certainly not least we're still selling our Crossbridge journals which are a great way to jump into God's word to jump into listening to the Lord so you can buy those in the lobby on your way out for 15 bucks there's also a couple more of uh, Pastor Kirk's thread books would love for you to have that in your hand or to give to a friend or si somewhere no where you can dive into it together. Este so importa, we love you guys. We hope uno. you have a great week and we'll see you guys next week. Tengan fin de semana. Hermoso. Dios les bendiga. Feliz semana. Bendiciones.